As the world embraces the wonders of artificial intelligence, we've started seeing ripples in almost every single industry. From fashion pads to language translations, it has been making waves. So naturally, we got curious. If AI can predict the next big song or even the weather, what might it foretell about our beloved cocktail scene in 2024? So we decided to shake and stir our way through these digital prophecies. And trust us, the results were intoxicating. <laughs> So grab a cocktail and sit back as we unveil three cocktail trends AI has predicted for 2024. So the first trend that popped up when we were searching on ChatGPT was foraging for flavors, and I, for some reason, feel like this is gonna be your thing. I do love to cook, and a lot of what I'm cooking with these days are actually forage and ingredients. So this one actually makes a lot of sense to me. So I picked Mother Nature's best flavor, in my opinion, coming straight from Florida, and it is the prickly pear. So how did you even come up with this recipe? I actually just asked ChatGPT to give me some recipes based on the cocktail trends they forecasted, and this is what came up. It's essentially just a regular margarita. So with your tequila, triple sec, and sour mix, just with prickly pear syrup. Mm, delicious. Yeah. It looks beautiful too. I love the color. It smells really good too. Kind of smells sweet. Oh yeah. Have you ever had a prickly pear? I have never had one, so I'm very excited. Okay. I don't even know what does it look like. It looks like a, it's like an, an appendage of a cactus. It looks like a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like it's gonna be like any other flavored margarita. It's gonna probably be a little bit sweeter, but I think it'll be good. I love prickly pears, mm -hmm. so let's give it a try. All right, Go. cheers. Oh, that's really good. Wow, that's dangerously good. And it's not overly sweet. It almost just takes like that little bit of bite out of the margarita that's like really tangy. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the most balanced margaritas I've had. And I feel like if you are doing dry January or you're trying to limit your alcohol, you could totally add in a non-alcoholic tequila in this and it would still taste just as good. A great mocktail. Mm -hmm. In Florida, you can also forage for a lot of things that would work well in a cocktail. Citrus, berries, so here's to foraging. Here's to Florida. <laughs> So the next trend that ChatGPT suggested was getting fancy with fermentation. And I feel like this is perfect for you, Faith, because you made those drinking shrubs about a year ago. I know. So we were already seeing that trend popping up a year ago, so I'm not surprised that we're gonna see it trending in 2024. And ChatGPT came up with this cocktail, which is pretty much a bourbon blueberry smash with kombucha in it. So I'm really excited to try it. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Not sweet at all. No. I was Ugh. expecting that to be really sweet because of the color and because of the fruit, and it is not. <laughs> Which I guess I should anticipate because a lot of kombuchas don't have a lot of sugar in them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. It might be gut friendly, but I don't know if I'm gonna pour this up on any night to drink again. I will say I do like the RTD versions we have in our stores because they do have a little bit more sweetness than this one, and so they just taste a little bit more refreshing. This is more of, um, it's very tart. It's very tart. And normally I do like more of a tart drink. This is just maybe not my flavor. It's not enjoyably tart. Yeah. <laughs> just tart. So the final trend is savory over sweet. Towards the tail end of 2023, I've really seen umami kind of pop up everywhere. And so I think it's gonna be a natural progression that, that almost like explodes in the beginning of 2024. Mm -hmm. But I'm really curious to see. <laughs> but I'm really curious to see how that translates into cocktails because typically it's like soy sauce and mushrooms and miso. Mm -hmm. But in cocktails, that seems a little weird to me. I know. Well, we actually did try that viral trend that everyone's probably seen, which is the Parmesan espresso martini. Mm -hmm. And that's where we talk about the flavor incorporation of that umami sense in your taste. So what kind of umami flavors are we having in this cocktail then? This is actually a miso Moscow mule. Chat GPT basically suggested this recipe. It's a Moscow mule, but with white miso syrup, which is like equal parts hot water and miso paste, <laughs> which sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give it a try. I'm gonna smell it first. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All I can smell is really the ginger beer. I can't smell the miso. All I can smell is the miso. I really like it. It tastes super balanced to me. It doesn't taste like miso soup at all. It's definitely on the savory side. There is zero sweetness. It's very earthy. It is really earthy. Yeah. And I think that's why I like it. I think I would prefer a dirty martini or something like that if I'm going for savory, but I do see why people would like this. So which trend was your favorite? 
I will have to say that the savory over suit was my favorite. I think it's gonna be the most accessible. I think mine was foraging, but I can see how the two go together because you can forage for mushrooms. Mushrooms are umami flavor. I don't know what you do with mushrooms in a cocktail. I'm sure somebody's done it, but maybe we should try it for our next video. Ew, <laughs> I don't wanna be a part of that one. And if you want to make any of these cocktails at home, you can pick up almost all the ingredients at your local ABC Fine Wine and Spirits or online at abcfws.com. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. <laughs> oh, mommy. So I'm going to call you when you walk into the room.